Is that when you became infatuated with Snoop Dogg? Yes. Uh, I was confused at first. Because, I mean, what if I... this lady crazy. What if I told you that he's definitely not your daddy? You can tell me that because I know he is. That is, a, that is 100% mine. Guaranteed. 100%? Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, Francis, like, when was the last time that we smoked a little bit of crack? Oh, two, about a day, two ago, two days ago. Was it today? No. No, it was, it was yesterday? Yes. Okay. And so you don't think that that plays into it at all? No. No? It's the truth. It's the truth? Okay. So, can we get you to like a mental health facility or anything no, like that? No, no. I'm already seeing Tim Parker. You already seeing someone? Grady, yeah. At Grady? Yeah. Do you take like medications or whatever? Yeah. Okay. I mean, are they working? Yes. <laughs> because yeah. you're still saying... You're still saying some pretty wild stuff. What's up, YouTube? I have the best trainer in Atlanta and possibly the world. Hit him up on Instagram, at Katie with the muscle. Now back to the content. What's up, YouTube? Atlanta Street Interviews out here with the update. So how you doing today, sweetie? I'm great, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. Mm -hmm. So how's everything been since the last interview? Been great. <laughs> Everything's been great? Yes. Okay, so I mean, do you remember our last interview? Do you remember what we was talking about? Yeah, it was brief. Well, okay, so we did a brief interview after that, but um, do you remember the one where we was over by the bridge and you was talking, you was basically saying you was R. Kelly's daughter? Yeah, I'm Snoop's. I'm You're what? Snoop Dogg's. That's my biological father. Snoop Dogg? Yeah, the rapper. Well, what happened to R. Kelly? That's his tribal members, so you know, they say they they the father to him, like tribal fathers. Like, Traveling fathers? Tribal, like the tribal tribe number. Yeah. Okay. So you're saying Snoop Dogg is your daddy? Yeah, Calvin Broaddus is my father. Calvin Broaddus? Yeah. Okay. Let me ask you this. Um, someone has had mentioned this in the comments, right? They said, they said that we're a culture that's particularly wrapped up in celebrity um, lives. And, so, and celebrityism, I guess you would call it. Um, why do you think you are saying, making these claims about these celebrities being your father? You know, Snoop and R. Kelly is the tribal, tribal brother, so but Snoop Dogg the rapper is my biological father. I've been, I've been knowing this since I was a little girl. Little girl? Because you had also said that Aaliyah was your mom. Yes, yeah, she's my biological mother. Right. But y'all are too close in age for her to be your biological mom. Uh, teenagers have sex all the time. Teenagers have sex. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Because you're 32, right? Correct. Okay. Okay. Um, I don't remember. Do you have kids? Yes. It was three of them, right? How many of them is it? I just recently had two boys. You just recently had two boys? Yes. How many kids do you have total? Nine. Nine? Mm -hmm. You have nine kids? Yeah, seven boys and two girls. When did you have the two boys? Uh, I had one last year in, uh, I'm sorry, this past year, 2021, and then I had one in 2020. 2020? Yes. Huh. Okay, okay. So, I mean, so as far as it goes, you know, you make a lot of fantastical claims, right? Yes. I mean, um, so can we get you to like a mental health facility or anything no, like that? No, no. I'm already seeing Tim Parker. You already seeing someone? Grady, yeah. At Grady? Yeah. Do you take like medications or whatever? Yeah. Okay. I mean, are they working? Yes. <laughs> because yeah. you're still saying, you're still saying some pretty wild stuff. Okay, okay. People judge, but they don't know that you're judging. If you go ask, if you go talk to people in the hip hop industry, they can explain to you a, a lot better than I can. Um, what would they say? As far as my parents, who my biological parents are. Is that right? Yes. Okay, so, all right. I mean, so as far as it goes, like, you know, you're out here. Um, it's like pretty cold on like n nights like last night and days like today. Um, where do you sleep on really cold days and nights? Um, warming shelter, they have... So you go to the warming shelters? Rooms. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. It's, one, right. it's a new one, I don't know, Martin Luther King. By H.E. Holmes. H.E. Holmes? Okay. Um, so, the, the, like, your parents, I forget, are they still alive? Snoop Dogg the Rapper. Oh, yes, that's yeah. right, you said yeah. Snoop Dogg. Okay. Calvin Broad is still alive. Alright, yeah. so, who, who raised you? Let me ask you that. Uh, I was raised by my, uh... Midwest family, uh, people from uh, New York, Detroit, Chicago, mostly. Uh, what 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 city were you raised in? Grand Rapids, and then I relocated from Grand Rapids in 1999 to Atlanta. 
Okay, okay. Huh. <laughs> okay. So, so you grew up here for the most part? Yes. Okay. So, who did you grow up with while you were living here in Atlanta? My mom, my, my mom's um, tribal member, family member. So you know that you almost slipped up just then. You you basically was about to say my mom, yeah. but then you you switched it up. Yeah, my mom's family member. Who is that? Uh, she's not my biological. She's like an adopted mother. Adopted mom. Yeah. Okay. 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 I mean, so do the drugs have anything to do with these it's fantastical claims? No, no, no. You can actually find out. Go to so Emory, like, you can go to Midtown, you can go to Grady, you'll find out. So, for instance, like, when was the last time that we smoked a little bit of crack? Oh, two, about a day, two ago, two days ago. Was it today? No. No, no it, was, it was yesterday? Yes. Okay. And so you don't think that that plays into it at all? No. No? It's the truth. It's the truth? Okay. I mean, listen, listen. <laughs> uh, if you like it, I love it, man. But it, it, it's pretty wild claims, and... You know, I, like I say, I mean, I, I guess I'm just curious. Just curious about how these things get in, into people's heads, you know? Yeah. Um, what happened was somebody told me when I was a little girl that they said I was a Snoop Dogg fan since 94 or 93, 94. And they said, uh, he means she slipped up and said, your daddy, when, in 1999, she slipped up and said, your daddy coming to your school today. As a, I was in the D.A.R.E. program. Um, he was talk, coming to talk to the Huey Elementary in Clayton County. Mm -hmm. um, he came to talk to us about, uh, about drugs, about using drugs. Who, Snoop? Yes. And she slipped Snoop up Snoop Dogg who smokes a bunch of weed. Right. <laughs> and talks yeah. But weed is drugs. actually not a drug. Well, I mean, hey, listen. That, it's a that's, natural earth. Hey, listen, I ain't mad at it. It's debatable, but... The point is, is that okay? So that's the, so. Is that when you became infatuated with Snoop Dogg? Yes, uh, I was confused at first. I because thought, I mean, what like, if this I, lady crazy? What if I told you yeah. that he's definitely not your daddy? You can tell me that because I know he is. That is a that is a hundred percent mine. Hundred percent. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, listen, Miss. We really appreciate you taking the time asking all of our questions. Um, if anybody out there wanted to reach out, help, or we donate. We got proof and evidence, all right. <laughs> hey, listen, I mean, you if you show me the proof and evidence, I believe it. All right. But until then, it, it just sounds like, sounds like just, you know, because we've had other people on this channel that have made similar claims. And, you know, our culture loves celebrities. So I think it just got a lot to do with that. But, I mean, hey, if you say it, uh, I'll tell you, I'll accept it. All right, miss. Well, listen, we really appreciate you. And we definitely wish you nothing but the best out here, okay? All right. Good. Makes you have a good one, sweetie. All right. All right.